you'd have stunts in the morning, which was just fight training and physical training. And then you might have a gym session, followed by a horse riding session, followed by a swimming session. I learned how to get smashed into a wall correctly. Oh. I don't know if everyone else did. It was kind of like a really amazing school camp. Uh. <laughs> Hi guys, how are you? Good, Josh, how you going, man? I'm good. Um, Charlie, maybe we can start with you. You know, I want to really talk about that water scene that you're into. I think it's episode two. It looks pretty involved with Morpheth. What was it like to do that? Because it, that doesn't look like it's a green screen. It was pretty much practical. All the immediate surroundings on the raft, we were all practical. So we were, I mean, we did months of training to be able to do it um, and do it safely and, and well. Um, and it was a really, it was a really cool experience. We learned to free dive um, and we learned to hold our breath basically to be able to do the underwater sequence. And then we did quite a bit of swim training to do the stuff um, on top of the water. Yeah, it was a really involved, um, cool process. How much training goes into a role like this when you kind of have to be an action hero in so many different ways? That was one of the real privileges of the job is we got to be fully immersed even when we weren't on set. So we were, if you weren't filming, you had probably you know a nine to five day blocked out anyway of training. So it would be, you'd have stunts in the morning, which was just fight training and physical training. And then you might have a gym session followed by a horse riding session, followed by a swimming session. Um, it was kind of like a really amazing school camp. Uh. <laughs> well, Tyro, what about what about you? Like, what did you get to learn as you went through this process? Because I know you have that great fight scene with an orc in the beginning, and yeah. I'm sure it goes on from there. I got to learn a lot about human biology. I did a lot of school, um, but uh, no, I spent a lot of a lot of the time when I wasn't doing school. I was in the I was in the stunt gym, and I think I think I learned a lot of stuff. I learned. You know, we all learnt the basics of punching and, and striking with a sword and um, how to fall correctly, how to like get, s I know I got learnt, I learnt how to get smashed into a wall correctly. Oh. I don't know if everyone else did. It's really, 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 really crazy. Like how much detail goes into all that stuff. Like I had to learn how to, how to sell. Um, mm. And that was like really hard for me. I always thought like I was good at it, but once you learn like all the technicalities to it, it is quite hard and it's it's all so fast because you know you got to think about things and where the camera is and all that and um, the stunt team on on this production was just have been incredible. Yeah, amazing. Um, Andy Trotter, they they were so great and made me feel so comfortable when you know doing things. A lot of the times with stunts, a lot of it is really scary and like you know that scene with the orc. You know when I hang down with the rope. And I, you know, I've got a harness on, and I was—it's got to be one of the most uncomfortable I was in the whole mm. season. But um, Andy and Trotter like helped me stay, like you know, really, really comfortable, even though I was uncomfortable. But um, yeah, they're really, really great support and taught me how to do everything right. And, yeah. Well, what does the orc look like in person? Because that looks pretty practical. Again, like is it, that somebody in a very gross suit? <laughs> Yeah, it looks oh, yeah. it looks in real life like it's a bit like it is a three D like like digital thing like because it is so unbelievable that it is scary like how mm. like not like it you look at it and it's like you aren't supposed to be in this like world like you're not supposed to be real and in front of me um, but it they looked so real and you know obviously they added cgi on top but i don't think they added very much at all because you know nathan um was in that suit you know for 12 hours was yeah like yeah he was amazing and it was it was really 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 incredible like how well the prosthetics and the, and the makeup team did with them because you know it made my job easier to act scared in front of them it's easy to be like whoa yeah. <laughs> Not a lot of imagination needed, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for your time. I appreciate it. And I'm excited to see where the rest of the series goes. Thank thanks. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our Narcity channel to see more content just like this.